For several years now, European car makers have been reporting one record sales year after another. The rich were particularly keen to catch up when it came to buying cars. This is why expensive luxury cars practically roll out of the showroom on their own over there. But market researchers are warning that it could all soon be over. Because of sales over the last few years, demand in the luxury class has now been satisfied, so that growth of more than 20% won't be possible anymore. Forecasts predict that the mid-range and compact classes are set to boom over the next few years. Skoda was evidently very well prepared in Shanghai. The new Fabia generation celebrated its Asian premiere in Shanghai. It will be launched out of the Chinese market with a choice of a 90 or a 110 horsepower petrol engine. There are many individual style options available because Skoda want to attract young customers especially. The new Fabia also provides the basis for the Raleigh Fabia, just recently homologized in line with the FIA R5 regulations, ready for the battle for record times on the rally courses. Its appearance at the auto show in Shanghai was also the Asian premiere for the new Superb. Its revolutionary new design immediately drew crowds of onlookers. But its exterior look goes hand in hand with its famous combination of functionality and space. And there's also the typical Skoda value for money factor, which makes it possible for a lot of Chinese people to buy their first new car. Because there is still a large number of people in the most densely populated country in the world who have never bought a car, but these people are going to make up for it in the years to come. This is why market researchers are predicting that sales in the mid-range and compact classes are going to increase accordingly.